Hello guys, finally I made the Groot beer. I don't know if it's the right pronunciation. This beer is very particular because it was done many, many years ago. You can make some research online before that uh, was uh, decided by law that to make the real beer, you should use the hops. But many of you, because you cannot find the hops in your country, you ask me to do this style of beer, the Gruid beer, because instead of the hops, we will use other herbs. But about the herbs, we will talk about this tomorrow. Because it's an old technique, I will use my traditional way to make beer. So in this pot, I put already 6.5 liter of water. When the water reached the temperature of 77 Celsius degree, we will put the water together with our other ingredient directly in the fermenter. We close with the lid and we wait all the night until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we will go ahead with the recipe. But now I tell you the ingredient that I will put in the fermenter. For this recipe you need 1200 gram of malto, pisner malt, sorry, I was speaking Italian. 350 gram of uh, biscuit malt and 250 gram of uh, hot flakes. We put everything here, the water, and for the other ingredient I will explain you tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning. When you wake up, you take a coffee, first of all. After, in a, a pot, you put four liters of water. You on the fire and you should reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree. Waiting for the water that uh, rise the temperature. We open a little bit the lid. I don't know if it's uh, the right term. I will write here. You open this one a little bit. Be careful not too fast, if not the grain will go inside and will be closed forever. If you open a little bit, the water start to go out, but it's not so clean. So you collect like this and you throw again the fermenter because the grain will do, will work like a filter. After that you collect all your wort and the water reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree, you do the sparging. So you take a little bit of water with a spoon and you throw on your grain. And after you collect, always with the lid open. And after that you collect all your uh, wort, I hope this is the right name, we need to do the hopping. Also, if it's not the real hopping, because we will not use the hops. See you later.
For the hopping without hops, you need to use other herbs. But before that we speak about the herbs, I want to speak about the grain that remain. Please don't throw away, you can use for other recipe like the bread or like a biscuit. The video of the bread is already on the channel, the video of the biscuit, not yet, because the recipe somebody of you give me, and sorry, I will do it in the future. Coming back to the gruit or the herbs, I will use 10 grams of artichoke dry leaf, leaves. Why? Because they are good for our liver. No, I'm joking, because they are very bitter. And because the people do use it, use it them for a kind of tea to clean your liver, is easy to find in many countries. They are very bitter, so be careful. I will use 10 grams. If you cannot find your country, I put the link under the video so you can buy them on Amazon. 10 grams of dry artichoke leaves plus 15 grams of uh, juniper berries. Also, if I will use instead of them, the myrtle berries, the one that I have already used to make the myrtle liquor. 15 grams. 10 rosemary needles, I will use the fresh one, but you can use the dry one too. And one bay leaf. We on uh, the fire under our beer. When it starts boiling, we add the spices and we boil for 40 minutes. After we off the fire and we add 100 gram of brown sugar or dark sugar. Why? because if we increase the alcohol content of our beer, it's more easy to preserve the beer. We learn this from other company, like uh, for example, from the Guinness. Many years ago, when they are moving the beer inside the barrels, they will increase a little bit the alcohol content of the beer, so that during the traveling, the beer will stay good and spectacular, like the one that we want to make. After that we add the sugar, we need to mix very well and drop the temperature faster we can. And after we put the beer in our fermenter and we start the fermentation, but I'll explain you later. reach the room temperature. I put the future beer in my fermenter. I filter the beer like I usually I do it. I show already many times in my videos. I add a little bit of yeast. I close with the lid and on the top there is the airlock. Very important, if you cannot find the yeast in your country, you can make it at home. You can find the video here on the channel. Plus I check the initial gravity. In this way, we will know the alcohol content of our beer at the end of the fermentation. Now the uh, initial gravity is 1050. When the fermentation starts, I will let you know. See you maybe tomorrow. After less than 24 hours, the fermentation starts already. You can notice from the foam on the top, very white foam, and from the airlock they are doing the bubbles. Tomorrow the fermentation will be, will be more active, and after the fermentation will start to go down. So let's wait that the fermentation finish, and after we will put the beer in the bottles. See you in a few days. 
you can see from the airlock that is close to the level so we can put our beer in the bottles when you notice that the airlock is not doing bubbles after 24 hours or maybe two days you can put your beer in the bottles plus now we will check the final gravity and we will be sure if the fermentation is done or not so let's check it If you check the gravity now, the measurement will be wrong. Why? Because our beer now is very sparkling. So the bubbles will uh, push our instrument. I think it's the right, sorry for my English. Uh, our tools will be pushed from the bubbles and our measurement will be wrong. So we need to put maybe the beer in a glass like this, mix a little bit with a spoon and wait that the bubbles go away after we can check the final gravity. Now we put in the glass and I will go ahead uh, putting the beer in the, in the bottles. How many sugar we should put in the bottles for the re-fermentation of the beer to have a sparkling beer? The maximum is uh, 10 gram each liter. So my bottles are 500 ml so I will put maximum five gram, but because I don't want too much uh, gas in my beer, I will put three, four gram of sugar. And after we put the beer and we uh, have done this passage, on the bottom of the fermenter, there is the yeast. So I will collect, I will use in the next fermentation, but I'll show you later. And this is our yeast for the next fermentation. You can store in the fridge, close like this, for uh, six months. So you have six months of time to use it. In total, uh, we brew, or we put in the bottles, 6.5 liters of beer. Now I will tell you the final gravity, but when I will do the tasting of the beer, I will tell you the alcohol content. Because now we should wait two weeks for the fermentation in the bottle. So, see you soon. The final gravity is 1010. Hmm, very, very good. I don't want to say spectacular because I prefer the beer with the hops. So up to you. If you make a beer with the spices or something like this, you can make it, but the taste will be different and you can personalize your beer. Uh, also for my taste, will be better to double the artichoke quantity. But this is the, we can say, base recipe. And after, up to you. You can make your uh, personalization. I hope that is the right word. Somebody can ask why you are drinking the beer with a biscuit. I tell you later. Now I tell you the alcohol content of this beer. So the uh, initial gravity was 1050. The final gravity, 1010. So we make the difference and we get 40. We should divide this number for 7.5, that is a coefficient, and we get 5.3 plus the refermentation in the bottle. We need to add 0.5. The alcohol content of this beer is 5.8 alcohol content of 5.8%. So please drink with moderation.
Why I have this biscuit? Because with the spent grain that remained after that you made the beer, you can make this spectacular biscuit. So remember to subscribe to the channel. In this way, you can watch also the next video about the biscuits or the cookies. Bye bye. Ah, remember to leave a comment if you try to make it and to share this video with your friends. Also, without hops, uh, the foam practically doesn't exist. Bye bye.